What's going on, world? It's been a minute. C. Moody. Here to answer the question a few months ago. I sold my Xbox to get the Nintendo Switch. Did I regret it? I'm here to tell you about it. This is... Moody Talk. Let go. What's going on, guys? Can I just say, before I begin, I love that beat, and except for the podcast, the other podcast I do by myself, this one and another show, Sports Moves, I created both of these music, both of the music, and for that song in particular, I just like it because I've never made something that fast or wild kind of sounds like it's everywhere all over the place but it still sounds formulated so just a plug for myself i do make a little bit of music i'm not the best but hey if you like how that sound now you know who did it so anyway like i want to talk about today back in april which is the last time i actually made a post here on moody talk um i was telling everybody why I sold my Xbox One with, I think I had about eight games for it, and I sold it solely for the purpose of getting a Nintendo Switch. So now I'm here to say, do I regret it? My answer, not at all. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm a, um, since April, the first game that I had, of course, was Breath of the Wild, The Legend of Zelda. Now, I must admit, as much as I love video games, never played a Zelda game in my life before. If I did, I was either too young to remember it now, or I just didn't know what I was playing. So... I guess both of that would be in the same situation. But um, yeah, and that game, not only did it have a very great story to it, the, the vastness of that world was incredible. That game itself is incredible. And the only downside to that game for me is the fact that when you actually beat the final character, um, when you finally beat the game, it's not like you can continue to roam, you know, the the big, you know, the area, I guess. It's kind of just, you, you go back to the main menu, like any other game, well, older games, when you beat the game, and <clears throat> that's it. But I wish, considering how big the environment was, that you had the opportunity to at least go do some more, finish some side missions, so I know now they've made downloadables content to kind of add on to the game or whatnot. But I felt like that should have been something initially because now I got to pay extra just to continue to add fun to it. So for me, honestly, what, I, what I've what i done, I haven't played it lately, but I just took a few steps back before I got to the part where I beat the game. And now I'm trying to do all the little small things that I didn't do find the extra shrines or whatever. So that's one thing in itself. So I was truly satisfied and entertained with getting the Switch upon me buying it. And now, where I'm at now, I have really some... The games I have on my Switch is I have the Breath of the Wild, of course. Ended up getting Mario Kart 8, which is it's a very fun game, especially for your family friends just you know small gaming um and for those you know bigger gamers or sports gamers 
that um likes the major sports. I have 2K18, NBA 2K18, and the game up there looks to me it looks just as good as it does or as it did on the Xbox One, which I will say this thanks to the Lord um, I was able to get an Xbox One again, so now I do have an Xbox One and a Nintendo Switch. So it's just amazing how guy works out. But for the 2K on the Switch, it's great. And it's actually, surprisingly, more people on that internet than I expected earlier. Like when, like if anybody's played NBA 2K18, you know now when you do the your my career, you have the neighborhood and you can kind of interact with other people. It's actually fairly crowded on the neighborhood on the Switch platform. So that was actually a surprise because in my mind I was thinking like it's only gonna be a handful of people and I'm I could just take over the neighborhood and I was wrong. You know, I actually was thinking just basically how the people around me kind of neglected the idea of the Switch, which my initial purpose of getting it was because I like the idea of having a portable entire system. You know, it's not somewhere where I have to, if I go somewhere and the opportunity strikes that we can play the game, now I have to go through this process of setting up, you know, on the TV, hooking everything up. Well, as far as the Switch, I can just pull it out and start playing. I can, If I'm not playing by myself, I can turn the controllers, add my, bring my extra controller, play on the tabletop mode, which might be a little difficult dep- depending on who you're playing with considering the screen is small. But still, the, the enjoyment of knowing you can play it without having to have the setup at the time is actually very satisfying for me. So, you have Mario Kart 8. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8, another game, um, NBA Playgrounds. It's a very fun game. I actually played that until 2K. And so I had um, a couple of my friends who were 2K savvy. They played it. They enjoyed it because it kind of gave the nostalgia of NBA Jam, maybe mixed with a little bit of NBA Street. So with that being said, I wish they would bring back those games like NBA and NFL Street. But in general, that game was pretty decent. After a while, you know, if you're not doing the challenges or the tournaments that's in there, it kind of starts to kind of wear on you after a while. Because if if you're not doing that, you're just pretty much either trying to rank the abilities of the different people, which I will say the skill set was more varied than I would have thought. And it wasn't like everybody had the same skill package. And I liked that. There was some uniqueness to it, which is good. And now the recent game that I have, which I think is really the purpose everybody was waiting for, is Super Mario Odyssey. And that game... That game, ladies and gentlemen... Just let that effect explain everything. And I haven't just played it. I've only played it today, actually. And for the couple of hours that I played it, the game is amazing. It's such a new creative take on it. My favorite thing so far is the, the blend from 3D to 2D that they have in certain parts of the area that you go through on these missions. Some of the, you know, some of the areas that you go to is actually bigger than the initial mission. So you can still find like your secrets, extra achievements. I guess I don't want to try to dive too much into it for anybody who hasn't played in it and is anticipating it. I'm sure you've probably seen it, though, all over, you know, social media and online. But yeah, that game is awesome. And I can honestly say I wasn't initially hyped about getting Super Mario Odyssey because in my mind, as as fantasy-like and creative as the game has always been, something about having a, 
a living hat <laughs> that you can just use as a weapon and accessory and all the other things that Mario uses it for initially didn't grasp me. You know, but for me, like I said, my initial purpose, if you listen to my podcast before, was really the excitement about getting 2K and the possibility that Nintendo will be able to bring in other sports games like Madden and WWE 2K, which is which has been promised to be added onto the Switch platform. But as we know at this time right now, that game didn't release with its initial launch with the Xbox and PlayStation platforms. So hoping that they haven't, you know, dropped the idea, hoping that whatever sales that they did make on the Switch from 2K was enough to continue that idea since they already kind of made that the acknowledgement of it on social media on their Instagram page and it's still up there. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe it just has like a stalling release due to the fact that this is a new console altogether and a new production for it, considering that PlayStation Xboxes are disc and the Nintendo is kind of still like the nostalgia cartridge, which I like, which I really like about it. Um, So I'm hoping that because they did the same thing with the Nintendo um, for NBA 2K18. When it released for Xbox and PlayStation, the physical content wasn't released yet, but thankfully they actually released a downloadable copy then, and I grasped it on that day one early release. So, in between the two, Xbox and Nintendo, of course with the Xbox, you have this larger library, um... You have more sports games for sports lovers. You have more of the realistic combat and fighting games. <clears throat> Honestly, for me, that's that's pretty much it. You have better graphics. Of course, now we have the Xbox One S and the X coming up in this holiday season. And so you have 4K, you know, graphics and resolution. But for the Nintendo... Considering now you have one of the major sports games in NBA 2K. Hopefully they will get Madden. Hopefully it's the full-fledged Madden. Just like it's a full-fledged 2K. It's not like a, a knockoff kids family version of 2K. Like, like they did for the Wii for sports games before. It's like it's the exact same game. It's nothing different between the two. So I hope if they continue to, to grasp or get on any sports games. Or even any combat games that they grasp the full content of the game and not just try to make it a knockoff for a specialty thing. Unless they're doing something like to add motion capability, considering that the Nintendo has the Joy-Cons for you can do stuff like with Just Dance, which Just Dance 18, I only play the demo, which is one game, Bruno Mars 24 Karat Magic. It is on point, to say the least. But for the Nintendo, you do have a lower amount of resolution. It's just regular HD on the television down to 720 on the screen on the tablet. But you really don't notice it that well because of the fact that the tablet mode is so much smaller. It doesn't seem like you're losing so much resolution between that and the TV mode. As far as the games, of course, it being a whole entirely new console system you're you're getting just getting games for it but like i said these initial games you have the mario super mario odyssey super mario kart 8 deluxe i want to say um breath of the wild the legend of zelda for the sports people you have fifa 18 is also out you have nba 2k 18 you also have um dragon ball z um xenoverse 2 i think is out i think that's the name of it you have Minecraft for people who love Minecraft. I don't, but hey, what else? You have these the mate the anime kind of games, Daisega. I don't know if I'm saying it right. So you have a lot of games, and there's more than that now. It's the the library has grown very fast in just these couple of months. I think it was actually released in early March, and now we're just 
a day or two, two days away from November. So if anybody is considering a Nintendo Switch, I will be the first to say you won't be disappointed in what you get. I love the game. It it brought back the gamer in me because like I said in my last post months ago, when I had my Xbox One before I sold it, I was only using it for social purposes. I was rarely playing it by myself, um, except for when I was doing multiplayer. And that was only for one game. I wasn't doing any other games multiplayer wise. And on the Nintendo, the multiplayer platform so far is pretty good. It's pretty smooth what I've played. And thankfully right now, there's no payment system on it. But that will change next year. And unless they've changed it, the initial price from what I've heard from other sources that I've watched is that it's going to be $20 for a year subscription online. Which compared to anybody who's played on at least Xbox Live, because I can't speak for PlayStation, that is phenomenal considering that I was paying $25 $25 every three months for Xbox Live Gold and consider I could pay 20 a, for an entire year of online subscription. But like I said, it might change before it's before it actually launches. But if it does stay the same, that is a phenomenal deal to get for such an amazing platform. I love the Switch. <laughs> that, that's that's pretty much the bulk of this this podcast is to say that I do not regret that I sold my Xbox One to get a Nintendo Switch. And honestly, I would even go as to say this was one of the better investments I've made in this year alone. No, that's not saying much considering I don't really... I, I can't say I spend a lot. I don't have much to spend as it is. But um, like I said, for my initial investments to say that I not just spent a whole bunch of money to splurge to get a Switch, but sold my Xbox to get the Switch. Oh, yeah. I'm not disappointed one bit. I'm thankful. It's even made me more of a gamer now. And I actually have um, a close friend who plays the Switch as well. So it's not like I'm alone now. I mean, he does stay out of town, but we talk about it like kids all over again on the Nintendo platform. My only concern is that I hope that they continue to bring at least the sports games over. I really, really hope that next year we can see EA's Madden NFL 19 on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm kind of hit and miss with any combat games which is part of the reason why I kind of left the Xbox just the multiplayer platform and the the consistently growing graphics and in the gruesomeness of certain combat games was after a while it just kind of wore on me in a negative way and I just kind of wanted to get rid of that and just enjoy the fun of playing games and so which with that being said Splatoon 2 is another game that underwhelmed me when I first saw it. But after playing it now, that game is a very fun game. If anybody who is a person who loves shooting games and tactical games, like it kind of brings me into the sense of anyone who's ever played Rainbow Six. Every person has a different kind of role. You can get a different different weapon that gives you different capabilities to help achieve this goal. It is very fun, and like I said, it's still it's still kid friendly. It makes it seem like it's just a painting game, a paintball game. That is very intense. What you play online, trust me, it's very intense. So don't sleep on the people there, because people who play the Nintendo when it gets to competitive wise, oh man, it's it, it it's it's intense to say the least. But that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. In retrospect, I love my Nintendo Switch. I'm glad I sold it. And I thank the Lord above for giving me another Xbox. And I'm also thinking about selling that one just to add on to some accessories and some more games for my Switch. But considering that, like I said, they don't have Madden yet. And I, the first thing I got when I got this Xbox back was getting Madden. I think I'm going to hold on to it. But anyway, guys, it's been C. Moody. I'm actually about to stop, maybe do a podcast. If not, I'm getting back on this game so I can get back into Mario Odyssey. Guys, have a good night. You have been listening to Moody Talk. God bless y'all. See y'all next time.